What is going on, guys? My name is Bosox, and yes, I'm finally back with another video. Um, I took a very extenuated break between some announcements from uh, about Beyond Destiny 2 Beyond Light, and now we're finally at release of Destiny 2 Beyond Light. Yesterday, I played through most of uh, the basic whole campaign, and then got to up to level uh, power level 1200, so today I'm going to be working on some of the other quests and things like that. But I wanted to show you guys something really important and something that you guys should do earlier in the season, earliest in the season as possible. Because it's going to have a lasting effect on your character and especially on your resources. So, uh, with the changes that came in Beyond Light, one of the many changes was to your ghost shells. And right now I have three ghost shells. And you're going to see that the ghost shell has to be leveled up now. But when you level it up, Unlike armor and stuff like that, it only requires legendary shards and enhancement cores. So if you have a ton of enhancement cores like me, you can set up a few different ghosts, and now you're not going to have to have a million ghosts. So I'm going to show you my ghost shells that I'm going to be using at least at the start of the season, and I may make some changes based on some later mods that you can get for your ghosts later on. But so for right now, for the first ghost shell... This is my basic ghost shell. This is my max XP, so I'm getting 12 XP gains, 12% 12 XP gains, and then I'm getting 35% glimmer. It's nothing crazy. I'm just going to be using this in when I'm doing either quests or just running around in the open world and stuff like that. This is not for any strict part uh, playlist or anything like that. This is specifically for uh, this is specifically for just running around and doing. Uh, open world things that uh, aren't playlist related. And then for my next ghost shell, this is my strike ghost shell. And this one's definitely not uh, like this one's definitely not completely complete because I don't have any good Vanguard mods, which I did get a pretty good Crucible ghost mod. So I'll show you my Crucible ghost in a second. But this is my Vanguard ghost. And it basically just means that I have a chance of getting an additional piece of legendary gear when I finish a Nightfall. Or a strike, and then again, I have 12% XP gains. I think XP gains are going to be the most. XP gains is 100% the most important mod, up until you hit 100 in the battle pass, because it'll just always progress you towards finishing your battle pass as fast as possible. And then I finish it off with some glimmer. I'll probably end up decreasing my XP gains later on, in order to get a better. Uh, Vanguard, when a, another better Vanguard mod, mod pops up. But we're going to build my PvP ghost shell right now. And so I actually got a really cool Crucible mod, which costs 6, but it says Precision Final Blows in Crucible have a chance to award Enhancement Prisms. And I don't know the rarity of this. I don't know if you're going to be able to almost get one every single game, or like, I don't know how many, like basically how many eliminations you're going to roughly have to get in order to get one of these, but I'm definitely going to test it out, because Enhancement Prisms, if I'm acquiring these over the course of a long season, then I basically have free access to, I'm going to, once I get 10 of these, I've essentially earned an Ascendant Shard, which is a lot of, uh, really, which is really good materials, especially early on in a season, when you aren't going to be leveled up enough to play, uh, when you're not going to be leveled up enough to play Master Level, Grand, uh, Master Level Nightfalls, and it's the Grandmaster Nightfall is not even available right now. And then obviously the other one I find most important is XP. So we're going to go for the 8% 8, 8 XP gains. So those are the three ghosts I'm running. You can definitely build a couple more for like you can build one strictly for finding materials on planets. But I generally buy all my stuff from spiders so I don't really need that. You can also build one for Gambit and I haven't really tried doing that. We can look at some of the basic gambit mods right now we have let's see how many gambit mods are there we have one right here gambit wins have a chance of awarding destination materials and gambit wins have a chance to drop an additional piece of legendary gear i don't really play a whole lot of gambit so uh i may make a ghost when i go into gambit but you get the idea hope you guys enjoyed this quick guide do this as soon as possible and definitely change it as you get more ghost mods because they seem to be dropping quite frequently and yeah super important a lot of materials can be gained. A lot of legendary gear can be earned from this. So go, go, go and do it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll definitely be covering more Beyond Light content in the near future. Goodbye.